it is morning of I have no idea what day it is on trail. Today is the first day that I'm feeling a little bit whew, fatigued. I've got a sore ankle and um, just feeling a bit tired. But it's a big day, so no room for feeling tired. Morning. <laughs> morning. We actually managed to leave at 5.40 this morning. I was happy that Fruit Loops knew who Baz Luhrmann was. That was really satisfying. Yeah. Finally, I don't have to I explain. Knew the song. And he knew the song. Yeah, it's not just because it was like the movies or whatever. Yeah. Snow. 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 First bit of snow. Woo! -hoo. I have to remember the three like points of contact thing or whatever. Yeah. Nice. Oh. That was filmed. That was filmed. Do something epic, Nicola. Um <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Are you guys talking about all the different people you wish were on the trail? Yes. We're just talking about who we would recruit to our group. And I reckon all of them We've got... Bodies. Well, Jazz has requested... Sure, what did you ja request, Jazz? I requested uh, a, a Hottie McHot Face Fireman for unsettled Hottie McHot Face Fireman for the trail. Okay. A hot what? fireman. Basically, yes. <laughs> a botanist. <laughs> a geologist. Physiotherapist. Chef. Chef. Geologist. Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Masseuse. Masseuse. Yes. Oh, masseuse. Um, but we could overlap some of these because we could make the physiotherapist and the masseuse could be the same. They could also do hairstyling in their free time. The yeah. Fireman can be an EMT. Oh, good nice. What's an EMT? Emergency, emergency medical team. Yeah. Oh, okay. He could also be a physio. We could roll a lot into him. He could yes. also be a chef. He could yeah. be a masseuse. He could be a also. chef. <laughs> <laughs> and the masseuse. Yeah. And a hottie. Yeah. <laughs> and a hottie. <laughs> They're all hotties. Yeah. Go chainsawing through this and thought buggering. Well, they've chainsawed through the next one. Buggering for Finally, seen quite a bit of poodle dog bush. This thing uh, apparently it's really dangerous to get it on your skin, but it has got a bit of a warning because it smells like weed. But there's also a guy on the trail smoking a lot of weed. So we're always like, is it poodle dog bush or that guy? Um, but it does grow apparently in burn zones and we're in one hell of a burn zone here. Take a look at this. All those burnt trees, that burnt hillside. And we're up here on this ridge. Oh wow. It's some epic hiking though. And then this side, obviously the fire must have got to the top and licked at the top, but possibly not passed over into the other valley as ferociously. Maybe the wind was pushing it up one way. Fascinating. <laughs> Smashed it! Woo! <laughs> Teamwork is dream work. Absolutely. <laughs> We're getting down this little slopey bit of rock, which if you've got your pack on it kind of pushes you down it. Then I'll put your pack <laughs> over there. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of fun. Bushwhacking oyster. I love scrambling. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> we 
We are five very tired women. It's been a long day and hard going in the snow. And we are ready to camp, but I think we've got a bit of a way to go. All right, we're finally camped up. Here's my spot. Where would we next? Got brainstorm over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> morning car boot sale. <laughs> Who would like some used wet wipes? <laughs> oh, I have woken up hungry. Major, major faff zone morning for everyone. <laughs> um, what, what time is it? Uh, 8 8.22 8 Our planned leave time was 6.40 mm -hmm. Hasn't happened Has not happened We've had a coffee We've had chats <laughs> Brainstorm's creation Oh no! I just witnessed his arm falling off! That's going on the tube. The trail name is Icy Little Effer, or Ilf for short. Let's give you your arm back, mate. Time to slide our way. Oh, she's going for the butt slide. Committed. Nice. So. I think this might be where our group breaks up for a few days. Me and Nicola are continuing on to Fuller Ridge and the other guys whew, are heading down the Deer Springs Trail to get packages, coffees and burgers, which does sound very tempting. Is this where our little group splits up? No, it's not. I think there's a long drop. It's not where we split oh, up, no. they're going to uh, Strawberry Junction. Oh, I thought they were coming off here. It says Deer Springs Trail. Back there. They're getting off Stra Strawberry Junction. Oh. Okay, scratch all that what I just said. It's not where our little group splits up. Do you want a little picture there, Kate, okay, by that side? I'm trying to get rid of this. Try to get rid of it. And then there were two. So, Brainstorm, Oyster, formerly known as Jazz, and Snippet have. Uh, taken a side trail down to Idlewild um, and then they're going to come back onto the trail after Fuller Ridge. So of the little group that we had, Sebastian and Maria are ahead, Sean and Jordan are ahead, uh, Rocket's ahead, so it's Kate and I trailing behind. Uh, we're going to do five more miles today and camp just before Fuller, Rud Fuller Ridge and then have a crack at it in the morning. Kate is over there by the water. I don't know what she's doing. I think she might be in the faff zone. She's done, uh, been sorting out feet cause she's got a blister and now seems to be unpacking and repacking her bag quite a few times. I, for once in my life, am ready to go. Okay, we've just arrived at Strawberry Camp. It's really weird that they put some kind of infrastructure in the wilderness, but here is a long drop toilet. Let's take a look inside. Kate opened it and her reaction was not good <laughs> and I don't know why, this kind of thing, it's like I have to know for myself. I mean, it's probably not as bad as you think it is now. Oh, okay. Is there not just a giant poo in there? <laughs> There's a dude on the toilet. <laughs> okay, that was the same reaction. Can you just pull the door back? That's bad. <laughs> that is... It stinks, the toilet, and it stinks. People why? are pretty annoying that they come out here and feel entitled to leave their rubbish out here. Like, who do you think is going to pick it up for you? It's it's just, it's the same in Britain. It's an odd, mm. it's an odd Right, turn mindset. the camera off, I'll ditch my rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> can I get, get up here? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can. Yeah, I think so. You're well on. How was that, Kate? Huh? How was that? Oh, 
epic woman right here. <laughs> We're about three miles from the campsite, um, which hopefully shouldn't take us too long, maybe a couple of hours, because there's lots of snowy bits still. Snow's starting to melt, so it's a little bit sketchy in that you put your foot and just, I think it's called post holing, post hole right through it. Um, but yeah, feeling quite good about Fuller Ridge because I think there's quite a lot of anxiety and also like f maybe a little bit of fear mongering on this trail or people trying to offer advice, but it's really difficult to make the decision yourself because obviously you don't know other people's experience, um, how experienced they are in snow um, or their sort of level of risk when they're assessing risk um, calculations and stuff. So I think, yeah, we decided a while back that we would go and have a look at it and see how we felt. But with the bits that we've done so far, I haven't felt like anything's been, you know, nothing. I haven't felt like scared um, at any point. I felt very much in control of the situation and very, very glad that I did a mountaineering course before coming on this. The confidence in the snow is so much higher and I think it's important. So if you are planning on doing a PCT, I definitely recommend doing a mountaineering course, learning how to use an ice axe. It just gives you a little bit more resilience and um, trust in yourself and your abilities when there's lots of like opinions and voices and fear mongering and anxiety around. So that's my two pence worth for there. We're on our way up to camp for our traverse of Fuller Ridge tomorrow, which is the ridge everyone's talking about. And I think on this side, we're in the densest snowpack that we've walked through. Um, it's very deep. Um, a lot of snow still on this side. Whoa. It's come out of an intensely tiring snowy bit and it's heaven when you see the track like this and you're actually working, walking on dirt again. But we've just had a glimpse of some big mountains in the distance there. I don't know if the camera will pick them up, but yeah. It feels pretty wild out here and it's very quiet and we've seen, since we left the others, we've seen one other hiker who we had break with and chatted to. Wow. <laughs> you don't really get views like that in the UK. No. Okay, we're at a bit of a tricky section where it's quite a steep drop down to the river. So we're being good mountaineers, listening to Pete and Matt and we've cracked out the ice axes. So we're gonna descend here with ice axes in hand and cross that river. We just came through that, through that slope over there. It, we are a bit stressed, our adrenaline is pumping. Um, we've got a mile still to go until camp. It's just taking us such a long time. I reckon you got it. Just make sure you can pull on both. Or switch legs. She's got it. Nicola and I have arrived at camp, finally. <laughs> After a very long and very stressful day. Yeah. Indeed. We're camped up with a chap named Night Owl. In the woods. Um quite dark and I think it's going to be a cold, cold night. It's a big day because it is the morning of Fuller Ridge. Ooh, this is the ridge that everyone has been talking about <sighs> and we found yesterday quite hard work so it's going to be interesting what today holds. But first it's breakfast and coffee in the tent, Puffy Face Central. Um, a big breakfast, a big coffee, so that I'm at max capacity for doing this ridge. Packed up and ready for Fuller Ridge. Half zone! Nicola's been in the half zone big time this morning. <laughs> uh, uh, it's half past eight and we're going to hit the ridge and hopefully not die. Not die. <laughs> so we've got wet feet, it's cold. Wet, cold feet, and we're off. Oh. 
although it's caused major stress and a little bit of anxiety, I think this bit is my favourite part of the hike so far. Just unlike anything I've ever hiked in before. Yeah, me too. Um, vast. Look at those massive ass mountains over there. Yeah. And it feels really good to have worked quite hard to get here as well. Quite hard. Pretty hard. Very hard. Very hard. Just getting our micro spikes on, ready to head over this absolutely steep as hell slope, which probably doesn't look that steep on here, but you would not. It is. You would not want to fall down there. So micro spikes are on, and we're good to go. They are. Here comes Baz. Down the snow slope. Coming very slowly, <laughs> but surely. Slow is the aim of the game. So this is Fuller Ridge. Um, we're managing it okay, actually. It was quite good to have done that stuff last night. Actually, I found the stuff we did yesterday so far worse than Fuller Ridge. So, Fuller Ridge has been kicked in the dick. <laughs> kicked in the dick with micro spikes. With micro spikes. Bam! How was that, Kate? That was fine. Um, felt really good doing it. I really enjoyed it. And I didn't feel like, I felt like yesterday was sketchier. But we're trying to decide whether it actually was or whether afternoon kind of mentality meant that we were a little bit more nervous because it was getting dark and we hadn't got a campsite. And the snow was much more slushy than so, what it was over yeah. Fuller Ridge. Anyway, it was not as scary as I built up in my mind. Just drying all our various wet socks. And our disgusting feet. <laughs> my feet aren't disgusting, speak for yourself. <laughs> Mine have got blister skin all over them. Oh, I've had one blister and that's it. Mm. Lunch time? I love having lunch next to my stinky socks that I haven't washed in days. Hmm. <laughs> I see your snocks is snot. I see your snots. <laughs> I don't even really joke. <laughs> I see your socks have snuck over to me. <laughs> Yes, we also need the sun. This is really stupid that I didn't realise this. You know, coronation chicken was invented for the coronation. I did know that. I never really thought about it until very recently. And then they tried to do something else for King Charles's coronation. They... Because coronation chicken obviously really took off, but I can't. I don't know what was. Oh, right. What did they? What did they do for Charles? I don't know. That's the point I'm making. That it didn't obviously didn't take off. Oh, I see. I will go to fetch the water. You have to eat two of these sausages for an hour. I've paid my penance. Would you rather eat one of these sausages or... Because how many did you eat the other night? Two. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, would you rather go back over Fuller Ridge? You have to go right back to the beginning or mm. you have to eat all of these sausages? I was literally about to start a video saying, ah, it feels so good to be out of the snow. You don't even need to think about where you're stepping. And then I tripped on a rock. <laughs> so it turns out you do need to think about where you're stepping, but still a lot, of, still the consequences of the trip are uh, minor. <laughs> so we've got multiple trail names on this trail. So Nicola's main trail name is Baz, but she's also Grandma Grace. <laughs> Just cause. I do think well, demonstrate. Although that was more graceful than some of your other ones. Uh, I'm Colonel Mustard in the evenings when I get my warm clothes on because without thinking about it, I've actually ended up all in yellow. It's very strange. We're on the other side of the mountain range coming down uh, towards Cabazon, down to the valley floor where it's very desert-like and the vegetation has just completely changed again much more sparse much more sandy um really interesting
really tired ladies but we are at mile 200 hey. there it is there it is what an achievement i want to go to bed <laughs> we have finally reached our campsite there are some other campers about oh we are tired ladies today Thank <laughs> you.